Okay, I'm recording now. I'm saying this while my microphone is muted so that nobody hears it, but Thorn is a big nerd who probably smells like a lamp. Like, not one of... Like, probably Everyone's an antique sink. lamp, In but, three, you know, a really two, fancy lamp that you put on one. your desk. Sink! Stankiest lamp you ever did see. Stink lamp. Stank, right. stink, stink, stink lamp. one up. 8-1. Stink lamp. Okay, I'm done. Welcome back to Legend of Grimrock 2. Today we are exploring Ruins of Deserun. This is going to be a two-parter, as is going to be somewhat of a theme with some of these dungeons. Not as long as the Pyramid, but it can get pretty long. Do a lot of the dungeons kind of have the same aesthetic? Like, you know, we've seen these walls before. Uh, I feel like this is the one that looks the most like this. They don't all look the same. Okay. Good. Yes. This one's the grayest and the blobbiest. Give me more crystal flowers. Glowy boy. That's a nice elemental. Jacob, beat him. You will get a mother of a brain freeze if you tried that. It'll be cool. But we might get one anyway. I want to kiss it. <laughs> so like I mentioned, fans of the first Grimrock will feel right at home here because it's basically the same tile set. Oops. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Side stepping to my death. I blame Cricket Dazzler. J just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me and Cricket Dazzler are on the right, so I think we are the ones to blame. Shock isn't as big a problem in this area as ice, which I think goes without saying. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Here, here's something to resist the lightning. Oh, cool. Shit, it's ice, isn't it? Yep. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> You can check in stats what your current resist amount is. So I'm just giving it to the one who has the least. And I find a potion of resurrection, which is like a crystal shard of healing that I have, but it's specific to one person. Okay, that was under the change. I thought for a second we got it, fell, and then it broke. <laughs> okay, uh, time to bet your skeleton fun bucks. Who do you think is going to die last? Me or Yoshi? Uh, whoever eats the ground meat, Yoshi. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> what? He he's, hasn't even come. He can breathe for years everywhere. It's just every, water, gas, no matter what, he can breathe. That is true. Damn bugs and they're breathing through their fucking skin and shit. Shit. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was a warm up fire. Uh, Ow, it hurt me. Uh huh, get it? Because it's fire shit. Eh? Eh? Hey! The teeth are the jokes! <laughs> Cricket Dazz with the comedian that gets progressively angrier when people don't laugh. <laughs> Ogretain learned backstab. He never uses light weapons, so it doesn't matter. Why does he know that? <laughs> It's just something you get when you level up the critical stat. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna backstab you with an axe. <laughs> just imagine if we don't laugh at him enough, Greg and Dazzler's gonna literally kill us like, YOU SON OF A BITCH, YOU LAUGH NOW! It sounds like you said that in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it directly into the microphone. Well, look where we're in! In a cave, yeah, there we go. Poison. Oh shit. Oh shit, cave people. Wait for it, okay. <laughs> I like how the one with it holding its arm was walking out front, kind of like it's in a marching band. <laughs> <laughs> we are mummy killing machines. All right, failure. You moved up a level. We'll eventually catch up with the pig. <laughs> <laughs> the rat pig. Is there anything to eat in here? Can I eat the bricks? Can I eat this knife? Yeah. These uh, hedge trimmers? You can eat anything. Well, you can't eat it. You can regurgitate it. The special attack is to throw it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna puke him to death. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I wish that weren't true. Fuck these boxes. Yeah, and we're ground sausage. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit hesitant to eat the dungeon sausage. Ah, yeah, you should eat it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Failure son bites it like a man. Just, oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to let you out of your cage. 
Ice to see you, Ashi. I forgot, it actually opens the door near the entrance, not that gate right there. You know what, game? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? So this guy's one of the more dangerous enemies in the game. He moves around a lot, he could fly, and he has two different attacks. One of them he does when he's right next to you, which is the most dangerous, and one of them is an ice projectile when you're far away. That's the near one. In Grimrock 1, that attack could hit you when you weren't even on that square anymore. The damage window was stupid. Now we can just step through it. The hitbox on it is less bullshit in this game, but it can still get you pretty quickly. The throwing attack is easy to dodge, though. So what it does get you in a narrow hallway where you can't step side to side. Yeah. There's rarely a place where that happens, though. Usually you can fight him in an open area. Another easy fight for me. <laughs> My favorite magic attack. And I keep forgetting to level up your magic so you can do it. Great, more fire. Great. <laughs> Yay! I'm waiting for the day we find a fucking fire enemy, and then you're just gonna be screwed, Yoshi. In more ways than one. I can do other stuff. I have electricity, too. Yeah, shock that bonfire. That'll put it out. Hey, look. If you hit it something enough times, it dies. Do you have water? I don't think so. So the puzzle in this room, we came through it earlier. If any of these switches are activated, the light bridge here starts glowing, but also the door closes. So we had to go through there first, and we had to take all the items off of it first. Now that we've gone over there, we just need to drop the rocks over it to make it across. Nice. That's neat. I like that a lot. I thought for some reason you were dropping an item that was making light bridges versus actually hitting switches. I was like, we could have been using that the whole time. <laughs> and to answer your question, uh, no, I don't have water stuff, but I do have this canteen that never runs out of water. Maybe we can take out this griffin with it. Maybe we can suplex Travis through the nearest table. You know how hard that would be? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Dead weight time. <laughs> Go for it. That's like a 10 man effort. <laughs> for Travis or Ogre Taint? Ogre Taint. I don't know how okay. many it would take for Travis. Probably less than 10. I would hope. <laughs> you heard it here? <laughs> less than 10. Oh no. Teleporting spider. Just in case the suplex committee decides to send their members <laughs> less than 10. <laughs> so this is a slightly tricky puzzle. We have to go up and down the stairs in order to solve it. First, I'm making sure there aren't any items lying around. Does it involve that giant spider? Yes, it does. And thankfully, the spider can't get out of its cage. <laughs> so that's teleporting is useless. <laughs> Not for the sake of hurting us. So it's just being an asshole. You can see it's right across the way. What he's doing is he's slowly walking across these trap doors. I need to step on that switch at the point where he's in the middle trap door, at which point he'll drop down on a switch. I missed it there, so I'm going to have to go back and re-teleport him back. And there we go. What that does is it opens the trap doors in this area, you can't see them, but if you went downstairs, you would see light shining down on these switches. So I need to drop rocks into the first, second, and fourth slots. Then just wait a few seconds. I don't know why they make you wait, but then the door opens. But we'll do that later. <laughs> Are there a lot of hints for this? Because I didn't see any hints for that. Not necessarily. You just kind of have to know. Also, when you go back downstairs, this door will have opened. And we can access the area. With a better helmet. Eh? Eh? Yeah! <laughs> I feel like when I put it on top of my head, I did my horns just break in half. I still wear it. <laughs> oh, or you just have them dangling off of one of the horns. Yeah. <laughs> You wear a helmet on each horn. 
That sounds adorable. Somebody draw that. <laughs> we are getting amazing fan art for the selfie. Yeah. Knees. Yes. So this is an interesting secret. Once you take those big metal pants, we actually get a shortcut back to the entrance. Hmm. Mirror pants or metal pants? Hmm. Mirror pants, I guess. <laughs> they can see my shiny knees. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him do the Charleston. <laughs> I'm blind! Oh. <laughs> Now, there was a sign earlier that said, this is the Meditation Spire. There's a secret here that we're not going to be getting just yet, because we're bred. <laughs> is that the reason? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to be thorough. Okay. There's more ground things to eat. It's like, there's a secret here because, mm, bread. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? But also because I want to introduce you to one of the worst enemies in the game. Ooh, I like him. We haven't met him yet. I know. Oh, this is the other oh, worst enemy in the game. I hate him. I hate him. He's so gross. Oh, he was wrong. It's all right. I know what to do. This is a big, gross bug that can disease you. Oh, no. And there's the other worst enemy oh, in the game. Oh, God. Those are big, ugly crabs. Those are armored enemies. So normal attacks are going to do less damage. But also, they have a very high chance of injuring you. And they can walk sideways, so they're harder to dodge. I hate giant crabs. Fail over son, how could you? The uh, other one, I mean. <laughs> on the plus side, failure of a son, he'll actually sort of come into his own in this case. Because by leveling up his missile weapons ability, he actually has the ability to ignore some of this enemy's armor. It's gonna be very tight though, but we made it. Still alive, baby. Woo! I was almost right. I was kind of frozen in fear during that whole fight because I hate <laughs> the thought of giant crabs. I remember the first time I saw a Mirelurk and Fallout, I nearly shat myself. It's funny. Crabs, nature's food, is what brings you fear. Like, They're everything big. eats crabs. <laughs> They're big and gross. Even crabs eat crabs. <laughs> Not everybody has the same crab experience, Travis. Did one attack you as a child? No, I just... They're big and gross. Like... I don't know, I hate them. Everyone's scared of the thought of their food rising up against them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if my peanut butter sandwich grows legs, I'll just break its <laughs> legs and eat it. It's mine. <laughs> now draw that. <laughs> <laughs> Audience? This room is bullshit. <laughs> it's alright, I can handle them. I fully agree. When I press that switch, these two doors are going to open, and the crabs are going to come wandering out. Listen to the noises they're making. How could you not hate that? As Ogretain, I'm dragging you guys in. I love crabs! Oh! <laughs> I set it up so that only one of them came out, so that I could close the door and kind of control the flow of combat. Look at its mouth. <laughs> now I just need to not get lost on the way back to the Meditation Spire. Here we go. Jacob, you have a serious problem. <laughs> you're, you're I hate him! Look at this big bastard! All it can do is pinch you. Well, that pinching injures us very frequently. With that that big thing, it's gonna do more than pinch. It could chop me in half. Funny how there's so many enemies that drop food that you don't want to eat, but the crabs don't. Why? That's the one good thing about crabs' existence. Yeah, e eat this frog butthole, but crabs, no. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? The only thing in there is arrows. Alternate title for this video, Jacob Hates Crab. I do. What if you can get to level 20 if you eat one crab? But it has to be alive. <laughs> can I kill it? Or does it have to be pinched? No, it has to fight you all the way down. <laughs> I would die! It might pinch your heart on the way down, but that's the risk you gotta take. If you wanna max out, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing in that room is a salted bass and that bug from earlier. Oh, sounds like a good meal. If you eat the crab, we'll give you the bug and the fish. <laughs> so I mentioned this place is called the Meditation Spire. So that's a very small hint that what you're supposed to do is just sit here for like 20 to 30 seconds. 
Give me some turtle, please. Aw. You'll get your turtle when you're ready. <laughs> okay. And I'm getting ready. For some turtle? Because once you sit here for a certain amount of time, I want to make sure everyone's ready for this. Oh no, I'm over-encumbered. This is bad, this is bad. You teleport to a new area filled with the ice elementals. Oh, cool. <laughs> Secret found, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Luckily, we have fire bombs. Are there hints for that? Because now that sounds tough to figure out. The only hint is that it's called the Meditation Spire. Oh, well, that's fair. This would be easier if I'd leveled up Yoshi's fire stats so that he could do the fireball. That's all he does. Why wouldn't you level it up? Well, eventually I realized that. You know, with that kind of attitude, Jacob, you've kind of earned eating the live crab. You're... <laughs> <laughs> you've been saying it more than me. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't point it out. Luckily, they give you a shard of healing. <laughs> yes. Suplex committee. <laughs> and they give you more fire bombs. Suplex committee, bring anywhere between five to... You know what? I don't know how many it requires to suplex a human. I just keep thinking about, wow, fucking... You can do this game with only one character? Yeah, that that's hard to imagine. High Wang managed it. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> If you get your timing right, you can stun lock an enemy. <laughs> These guys have a lot of health. I'm gonna be pissed if Travis and Yoshi die at the same time. <laughs> it's a death race! <laughs> now I feel like Jacob wants my character to die first. Well, I already said that. Well, that's where my bet is, because it seems difficult to kill Yoshi. I mean, difficult to kill you too, but, I mean, he's more resilient, it seems. Is it because I tried to force that live crab down your throat? <laughs> well, I mean, come on. Travis. <laughs> By resilient is really just more like I'm in the back. That is a good point. Yeah. Shit. That doesn't make any sense for fucking underwater segments. Can they climb ladders? Oh shit. Oh. No, they could just fly. <laughs> uh. What's gonna right. happen? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, let's not stand near the door. The shard of healing is too useful, so therefore I'm not going to use it. All right, Phil, you earned eating a, a cooked crab. <laughs> Hubert, you're on my shit list still. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I earned it. That's all of them. So now we can just grab a bunch of cool stuff. That is an interesting spell. There is a type of enemy in this game that cannot be attacked by normal attacks. It can only be hurt by Dispel. This one right here. Dispel. Okay, Pubert, I give you two choices then. You could pick between eating the live crab or a live eagle. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> both of them are kind of awesome. <laughs> and both of them want your blood. <laughs> is the crab a giant crab? So is the eagle. <laughs> uh, well, uh, what? level 20. I'll eat the crab, I guess. Ah, there you go. It has less of a chance of killing me. Just proven, Jacob hates eagles more than crabs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I eat the thing I don't hate. <laughs> Another skull. And more cheese. <laughs> yes. Can I eat the cheese and get level 20? I'm waiting for you to starve first, apparently. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> Thorn, you know, you're my best friend. I love you, man. <laughs> we, we gotta starve him before we eat it. Do I live in a basement, too? Like, what the fuck? You need to sit at the spire for another 30-something seconds. This is an interesting secret because that door is actually on a timer, so you need to move very quickly. We can see it closing on me again. The only thing in here is another one of those Snake Charmer bracelets, which, like we mentioned before, increases your poison resist, and a tribal spear, which isn't that great of a weapon, so I just leave it. Somebody's gonna correct me and say it's an amazing weapon, but... What are you gonna do? But fuck that guy. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. Don't listen to Pubert. 
You're probably right. Listen, I'm angry and hungry. <laughs> so this is bizarre. On the other side, we've got the spell of light, which we've already shown off. Here we get the spell of darkness, which just shuts off your light. So I can just be a dick whenever I want. <laughs> now it's on. And now it's on. <laughs> Let me turn off the light. Are enemies hindered in darkness? Nope, I don't know why that exists. Cool. <laughs> it's just a spell just because I can. There's a gold key door. That's just an axe. I look at it longingly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get better axes. Yay! And now we have a shortcut back. But that was the first part of Ruins of Desarune. Second part is a little bit shorter, but things get stranger. Look, Pubert, I know you're starving right now, so I have a way of fixing it. Just hear me out. Oh, please, go on. <laughs> so, it's obvious that you're not into the, the live crab or eagle nope. situation. Can't say I am, no. So, how about we make both of us happy, and you just eat a live cricket dazzler? Okay, that I think that would meet <laughs> both of our demands. I eye him with, like, a weird smirk. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can devour me, and then you slowly die from the inside. His cricket dazzler sets you on fire. Yeah, you activate fire within my stomach, and I get just the worst heartburn. Both of them turn to ash, I turn over to failure of a sun. Okay, the chain's way lighter now with two people. This plan's working <laughs> to perfection. And I just walk back up. Yeah, so I took the resurrection thing. <laughs> oh god, and you burst out of my stomach like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't stupid. We already talked about drawing a picture of Yoshi karate chopping a sentient peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now I just imagine the full meal deal here with <laughs> that, a picture of <laughs> Pubert trying to eat a live crab or live eagle. Um, <laughs> I'd imagine me probably using my axe to chop my plate in half. And Fail of a Son just asking, why did you kill the two other best fighters in the group? <laughs> As I chopped the plate in half, that answers your question. I hate my life. <laughs> okay. And the next episode of Don't Starve. Stop recording. <laughs> Guess what happens? On to part two.